Choosing between pre-tax and Roth contributions to a retirement plan can be difficult. Both options may have potential benefits and deciding which is right for you may depend on your personal financial situation. Pre-tax contributions are withheld from your pay before any income taxes. That helps lower your tax liability for the current year and it helps lessen the impact of your retirement plan contribution on your take-home pay. Any investment earnings are then tax deferred and ordinary income taxes are assessed at the point you take the money as a cash distribution. With a Roth contribution, that's an after-tax contribution. That means you are paying today's tax rate on your retirement plan contribution, but then you're able to distribute that money as well as any earnings on that money tax-free in retirement as long as certain qualifications in a five-year IRS rule has been met. Roth contributions may be more attractive for people who think that their taxes are going to increase in retirement because Roth contributions are going to lock today's income tax rate in on all of your retirement plan contributions. Roth contributions may also be attractive because they broaden your retirement strategy. If you have some money saved as pre-tax and some money saved as Roth, you can then pick and choose how you want to withdraw your money in retirement to help plan your tax liability a little bit better at that point in time. Pre-tax contributions may be more beneficial for people who are struggling to save or for people who are behind on savings because they'll allow you to put money aside in a retirement plan without feeling as big of an impact from your take-home pay. Pre-tax contributions may also be more attractive for people who think that their taxes are going to be lower in retirement. Keep in mind that as you decide between Roth and pre-tax, you may want to seek the advice of a tax professional. You can typically contribute as all pre-tax, all Roth, or a combination of the two types as long as you don't exceed the IRS limit.